everyone. I come from Navajo land in America. My name is Sarah Ullman. My students call me Sarah Teacher. Through the English program in Korea, or EPIC, I began teaching here in the city of Mwanup, which is located in the beautiful and sunny southern province of Jolanamdo, South Korea. Mwanup is a deceptively large town. It's hemmed in by rolling hills, as you've seen. Fields of onion in the spring and rice in the summer and a couple of long chains of mountains that, if you follow, will lead you straight to the sea. It's a perfect place to explore hidden pockets in nature, like Mulmajigal Forest and this pavilion, Namsan Pavilion, just overlooking the city. And if you're in town, you can enjoy many leisurely strolls and run into new people, and if you're lucky, make a new friend. I teach first and second grade at Mulan High School, and the students are numerous enough that I teach at only one school. They bring challenge and laughter together, which often makes for an interesting lesson each week. A typical week consists of lesson planning and research, material gathering, active teaching, random conversations with students and coworkers, and generally enjoying the school community. Lunch is a major highlight for food is always filling, varied, and delicious. After lunch, many teachers walk about the grounds and chat. It's a ripe time to enjoy the sunshine and fresh sea breeze. Growing up in a desert means sunshine is a necessity, so I am incredibly fortunate to live in one of the sunniest provinces in South Korea. Altogether, school life and community are a great blessing, especially with the wonderful support of co-teachers. Their insight and guidance make transitioning into school life and society in Korea a very pleasant and enriching experience. They encourage and foster professional growth in education and are always ready to help. Truly, it is a joy to work alongside them. When I first arrived, it was this diverse community of teachers and friends and locals who helped me settle into a new culture and find new rhythms in daily life. Like, like choosing a local church to join or hunting for interesting places to hike or even finding the best prices for spices and produce. Conclusion is that doing life together, building meaningful relationships with people, that's the stuff of life. Whether you're sharing small moments, having new adventures, trying new food, exploring culture and history, laughing together, finding a beautiful piece of nature. Do it with people. And if you do it solo, share it with people. Because people need people. If you're concerned about organizational health, rest assured, as I have, that the EPIC organization is quite healthy. It's existed for many years and is known to hire and produce effective teacher professionals. In my experience this first year here, the teacher support EPIC provides, not only on the national and provincial levels, but more importantly on the local level, as in directly from your co-teacher and even your program coordinator. This support has felt significant and quite encouraging. Not to mention 
the vast community of epic teachers who often share their time, resources, and ideas, and even their friendship. So a final encouragement to you, go through the process, do the hard things, sign papers, come to Korea. If you've made it to Korea, welcome. There's a world of new experiences to be had. Meet wonderful new people and experience a vibrant culture. Do life with people here. And maybe we'll see you in the sunny south.